out here on James Street this morning. Welcome, welcome back to the vlog. I know it's been a while since you've seen me here in the vlog, but uh, I'm back at it now. Forcing myself to get back into the rhythm of it. And at the moment, it's Saturday morning. Usually uh, I'll work in Saturdays, but today we're cruising. I haven't played hopscotch in a while. So this is the new Ghost Train Station, uh, West Harbor, that's like rarely ever, rarely ever in use here. And um, you can see that someone actually tried to wax these ledges here. Was it me? Someone's been here trying to wax these things up. These would be, these would be pretty nice ledges actually, if they were bricked. I don't know if I'm about doing that again though. It's a lot of work. Well, the station's only open for one hour and 15 minutes, five days a week. <laughs> it's honestly better served for a skate spot. There's a really nice skate spot down there. Job. What's up? So I'm back home um, this morning, ended up just doing some laps around downtown, looking for garage sales. I only found one, uh, which I got two dog leashes for a dollar each, and we have an abundance of dogs, so. Always gotta need those leashes handy. Um, upon talking to the residents of the area, I found out that there is a festival happening today called Barton's Village Festival. Barton Village Festival. Um, it's to promote the growth of Barton Street. Bring people down there to enjoy the accommodations and the activities in the street festival. Because a lot of people talk shit on Barton, about Barton Street. So we're gonna head over there now and see what the festival is all about. So I'm out here like going to garage sales and the hammer. I'm on uh, Ferguson Avenue and I came across this random coffee house. Doesn't even look like it much, but it says open. Hi, how you doing? Good, good. How about yourself? Good, I just stumbled upon your coffee house here. Yeah, we've been here for quite a while. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, about 12 years. Oh, neat. But we only open on Saturdays and Sundays. Oh, really? Yeah. Just a weekend place. But I supply almost everyone in Hamilton. Really? So, for Joe, Democracy. Yeah. Uh, wow, that was crazy. So, uh, yeah, he's a Q trader for beans and he hooked up a free coffee. So, shout out Stephen at, um, the Speakeasy Coffee Distribution. So this guy in the store, Steel City Deals, it's a, basically a big hoarder shop, but he has a tent in there, easy pop-up for a hundred bucks. Just gonna see if it's worth it. Poor guy just came up to me and said that he lost his brother as a, he was an innocent bystander in a shootout in San Francisco. Damn. But the, the point of the story is, people are making small talk out here. Everyone seems to make small talk up in the city. But we've made it. Wentworth. I always take advantage with the wheels to get around. Funny you ask that because I just was looking at the biggest one in the city. Oh, where? It's over. Like and so the 
celebration begins. And they got the stunt course. Yeah! <laughs> they like that one. So this seems to be a pretty cool event, but the roads are not that smooth. I think there's a basketball tournament, food trucks. And, and the festival ends here at Birch Street. NSCN, how you doing? How you doing? You're doing good. Cool. Hi. <laughs> the food truck is named after the rapture. And she's like, see you soon. <laughs> they got big scoops. This building here looks insane. It's definitely mad old. And all boarded up and condemned, it says 1917. I wonder what's inside of here. The front of the building here actually has a skate spot. That's the, that's the main entrance. But there's this gap here. It goes right out to the road. The gap goes right to the road here. I kind of want to do it. Second thought, uh, I'm not going to do it right right now. I'm going to get back to the carnival. But it's duly noted about this abandoned building here. We're the mental health program at St. Joe's. Mental health program. And we're doing a project here in um, on Barton Street called okay. Mental Health Safe Space. So the dental health safe space. Yeah, we worked with businesses along Mental Street, health, okay. Canada. All right. And they are able to now provide information. We'll have like that logo. Mental health safe space. Pretty cool concept. Great clouds roll over the hills. Bringing darkness from above. It's on a trailer. And if you close your eyes, does it almost feel like nothing's changed at all? And if you close your eyes, Photographers. A revised version of that on a revised version. On, on, yeah. on what you just said to me, he was giving me a reading or yeah. So I'm a, I'm a. You got it on? Yeah, it's on. So we're from Eagle Worldwide Ministry. I just seen my brother passing by and his rollerblade, and I said to him, um, "Hey, brother, can I talk to you? Because when I look at you, I see art, and I see an artistic call on your life, and I see that, and I just heard what the Lord said to me, and He said that He's given given you an eye to see." And it's, a, a, it's to capture the moment and to put it down, not just with art, but I see you uh, taking pictures and photography. Mm -hmm. See, that was, that was the, um, the mobile, mobile guy. So far, oh, I missed these guys. How are you doing? Doing good. What are you guys up to? This is happening, the smoothie bike. It's a thing. And uh, with this bike, 
I can't see. With this bike here, I can make smoothies. And you guys are Green Venture? Yeah, yeah Green Venture. Cool. All right, so what, what do I need to know about this smoothie bike? Just got to strap in. Made in California. <laughs> Uh, we take the smoothie bike to schools. Uh, we teach kids about the differences between whole foods and yeah. processed foods. Okay, that's good. Um, yeah, they seem to really like it. It's a it good makes message. Sense to them too, right? You show them a, a package from the store and they read the ingredients. Uh -huh. How many of them can you, under, can you understand? Or yeah, or versus like a whole food, there's one ingredient in it. Yeah, like for this one, it's yeah. blueberries. Blueberries, strawberries, and no, no spinach. Oh, just blueberries and spinach? Blueberries, spinach, maple syrup, water. And water, wow. That's it. Oh, of course. Alright, so pedal forward. Yeah, if you can hold that. I'm gonna. Oh, man. There it is. That's a smoothie happening. That is an awesome idea. How long do I need to go for it? Ice in there or no? No, I think it's just frozen blueberries. Oh, frozen. Possibly not enough water. But you know what? That's good. Yeah. That's pretty neat. So let's see let's see how that turned out. It's called Mob Vlogs. M-O-B-B. Like Mob Deep? No Mob Deep. Oh. No? It's okay. It's like a smoothie now. Like a real ice smoothie. <laughs> Like a slush. Should we add the water? Nice. It's really good. A theme? Um, on the vlogs, I try to theme um, Hamilton, inline skating, um, and just adventures mainly. Yeah. So, yeah, that smoothie bike was pretty dope. And probably one of the best smoothies I've ever had. Just spinach and blueberries and maple syrup. That's all that was in it. Prizes. I love spin wheels for prizes. What did you guys win? Stickers? What are the prizes? Oh, your spin wheel is nice and smooth. Stable. Do you, are you being sarcastic? No, I swear, because every other one I spun, they... Um, I almost won. You almost won. I think you're, you're close enough. Oh, nice. So, uh... Alright guys, thanks. Have fun. Parents are really nice, yes. but they generally bond to one or two people. Yes, they And do. then they get really possessive over those people. Yes, they do. My sister can have one of those. And what's his name? His name is Elmo. Oh. Is the chicken friendly? The chicken is friendly. You can pet the chicken if you like. Hi there. Look at the chicken. See the chicken? We buy our rats. She is a Chinese silky chicken. She is, her name is Elsa. And her feathers are called downy feathers, so all baby birds are born with her type of feathers, but she keeps them for her whole life. So they are really, really, really warm, so she thinks it's very hot out right now. She's kind of like a little mini polar bear. That's cool. So she's got the Derek Rabbit is. Derek He stays in the cage, eh? Yeah. yeah. There's even more. Yes. Yeah, you know her. Yeah, oh, I love this celebrity. Hi, Andy. So when I was talking over to the guy that gave me the, um, the orange band, he said there's a skate park set up over here, which um, no, he didn't. I saw somebody I knew that mentioned it's a skate park set up, so I'm gonna try and find that right now. I found more than a skate park. I found a skate haven over here. Ledges everywhere. So check out this skate spot that I just found here. Ledges everywhere. Really nice ledges here. Really nice ledge ledges. Wow. There's even a little bank to ledge here. And then this is the skate park that they're talking about is set up. Made it. 
I used to ride these types of parks like when I first started skating. Oh yeah? It's so funny. Like the exact same setup. What's up, man? It probably is the same one. Yo, what's up? So I did make it back from the festival right now. GoPro battery died on me while I was out. Um, so the only part I didn't get to film was the beer tents. There was three breweries there. Um, and I got a sample from each one. And there was a really cool one in Dundas that I'm gonna go visit next week because their brewery is really aesthetically pleasant inside. So we'll be staying tuned for that. Um, they're actually called, uh, they're actually called um, Sean and Ed Brewing Co. So I'm gonna go check that out next week. Um, overall, feeling from the vibe of the festival was pretty cool to see that they've closed off the streets for the first time for the Barton Village Festival. Um, I would suggest everyone in the area to go check it out um, each year that it happens, the last Saturday of every June. And um, there was a lot of cool community tents. Talked to a bunch of people about community projects, medicines, um, developmental plans. Um, and then just some people offering, you know, food, drinks, art, crafts. Yeah, so it was pretty neat. I would definitely go back again next year. And um, yeah, thank you for Barton, Barton Street Village Festival. I'm gone, hope you like this video.